What's going on guys and girls, it's Ghost Robo, and we are oh so close to the launch of Horizon Zero Dawn. Everyone is talking about Zelda, everyone's talking about Switch, me included, but I didn't want you to forget about this true gem of a game because it deserves an immense amount of focus. And I really think this is an absolute magical game that has quickly and aggressively crawled up my, my all-time list. And that may sound crazy, uh, but today we're going to show you one of the reasons why. And that is the metal world, the old mechanical uh, places of the past that meet the natural beauty uh, of Horizon and form the, if you want to continue on sort of the Zelda train, the dungeons of Horizon. These are called cauldrons, and they are places, uh, factories, where... The, the beasts and the machines are made, and it is a really uh, a tough journey through these gorgeous places. They are littered uh, with obstacles as well as enemies and eventual boss encounters, uh, arena style. Um, but they are, they are nonetheless just beautiful and awe-inspiring. The first time I set foot in one of these, I was shocked because you're so used to trees, foliage, animals, and then you step inside of a cauldron and you're like, holy crap, I'm inside of Tron. I'm inside of this weird matrix world where everything is tech and wires and and machine and metal. Um, and it has just a, a totally different sensory experience from the outside world. And sometimes the cauldrons merge uh, and you'll be winding as you make your way through their maze-like structure. You'll be winding outdoors and back indoors. And it's really cool to see how the natural elements of a cliffside uh, are fused with this place uh, of almost maniacal creation. Uh, it seems almost evil, almost devilish, uh, and, and that fits into sort of the greater story of Horizon, which we, we obviously won't get into or, or spoil in any way here. Um, but I love the way that Aloy is able to experience so many different environments, and I spoke on this in my preview that one of the greatest strengths of Horizon is how they constantly are surprising you, and they constantly are delivering and feeding you new elements of their world, and it's really, really remarkable and fun to go from uh, a tribal outpost and a mission where you're hunting down someone's lost spear, and then before you know it, you're underground battling new foes uh, in these, these worlds of metal, and I think that you'll be so surprised at certain points in the game uh, when the environments and the world evolves and changes uh, beyond anything you've seen thus far. It sure shocked the heck out of me and it sure kept me engaged and interested. Uh, the mechanics of Horizon, the gameplay, is so solid. It's so fun. I've played tons of the game and it is still a joy to experience. It's still a joy to put the controller in my hands and, con and control Aloy around this beautiful world. Uh, part of that is these cauldrons. They are not only uh, a, a, a keyhole into the past, but they also help you to better control the world above. And I won't tell you exactly what they do or what the purpose of completing them is, um, but just know that they give you a big, a big bonus in the, the outdoor environments. Uh, so you will want to complete these, and they are challenging. Um, and they house a lot of the stronger dinos, a lot of the bigger, badder foes um, are here protecting and guarding, as they should be, because these are really impressive structures and really impressive creations. And I love how much insight they give us into what was before Aloy, what was before the tribal people, what happened. Uh, what happened isn't as clear, right? That's that's more of a plot thing that's revealed over the long haul. But you do get so much of a sense uh, of how things were. And it's not just in cauldrons. You know, you'll see um, broken down uh, buildings and areas where the environment, the grass, has overtaken uh, what used to be a city street uh, or what used to be all sorts of different areas. Um, and you kind of learn, you know, where this all takes place and what all went on and the, uh, the little collectibles and, and the lore elements that you find scattered throughout only enhance that. There's some really cool instances where you'll quite literally uh, get a window into the past. Um, and it's it's a beautiful sight, and it really helps to ground this world of, of Horizon Zero Dawn as a place. And I think 
that for me, one of the reasons it's, it's climbing towards Bioshock and it's climbing towards Half-Life 2 and it's climbing towards some of my favorites of all time is because they so fully realize the world. And it's not just a game about combat, it's not just a game about exploration, it's not just a game about a great story. Uh, it's a game where all of those elements converge into this living, breathing, fully realized space that seems real. It seems like I'm visiting uh, somewhere that has every element figured out, every facet has been, uh, you know, written down or described or built in the, in the digital space. Um, it's not just, hey, here's the level and this is all we made it. It genuinely feels like they have crafted a whole world and you just happen to be trapezing through a portion of it. It's massive as is. Um, and I think, you know, Zelda is going to get so much of the focus, and rightfully so. It does a lot of really incredible things, and Nintendo has put together probably the most impressive and awe-inspiring Zelda, or maybe game in general, that they've ever made. But don't let that keep you from Horizon Zero Dawn. Uh, this game deserves to be discovered. This game deserves to be played. This game deserves to really uh, have its moment, because I think that it is the modern Breath of the Wild, and that sounds so weird to say because Breath of the Wild is coming out a few days after Horizon Zero Dawn, but it really feels like Horizon is the 2017 Legend of Zelda. Like, if Link were able to time travel, he may find himself in a world similar to Horizon. Um, Horizon is definitely a more structured experience. It is a little bit more linear. Uh, in fact, probably a lot more linear, even though it's still open. Zelda is so much just throwing you uh, into a vast open world and saying go, go play, go find, go die, go discover, and Horizon is a little more uh, guidance than that. But it is still one heck of a game, one heck of an experience, and I cannot wait to start my series with you guys. It begins early tomorrow morning. I hope you're pumped. I hope you're ready for a massive part one because you need to see all that this game has in store. Big thanks to PlayStation for providing me the review copy so I could get all this content nice and ready for you cooked up in the oven. And uh, I hope to see you there. So until that time, everybody, drink so much. Thanks again for watching. HCD begins tomorrow, and we will see you all later.